Welcome back folks, another little time video for you, again another dry fly pattern and this is one that I use an awful lot, um, especially uh, on the small waters at this time here, it's a little emerger pattern, a little CDC pattern, um, and a little hairs here, well actually, hairs here with a twist. Um, let's get going with this, first if you like the videos please click like, click subscribe, and you'll just get notified about my videos, it's all free. Uh, and I'll uh, try and get as many of these out as I can in the next few weeks for you. So the uh, hook for this is a uh, 170 size 14 and the thread is a uh, light olive and an 8 Okay, and as I say this is a little emerger pattern so this is um, I'm going to be tying this up with a bit of CDC for this. So just catch that in there just to start with. Trim off the waist and then select yourself four nice CDC plumes obviously you'd increase this for the size of your hook or if you wanted I do tie them up varying some of them are four some of them are six just depending on how buoyant I want them so if you're playing north fishing a, on a rough day or you know on a, on a water with lots of wave action you want something that's going to hold up anymore just increase the size of the cdc the amount of the um cdc feather there so that's it we we'll just match those together that's four plumes there i'm going to offer them up to the hook and i want that to be about the length of the shank again out of the top there so i'm just going to offer that up to there and catch it in just behind the eye nice and tight make sure it's on top of the hook that's perfect that's lovely Okay, it's nice and tight in there, and we're just going to trim off the excess there. Next thing to do is to uh, trap in the rib, um, and it, this one we're going to be using a, a number 14 pearl again. I do like this for my emerger patterns, it just seems to catch the sunshine. I think it makes a bit of a difference to them, so just got a little bit there. Bring that down there and trap that in. And bring it back down to just above the bend of the hook okay so as we said this is i called this a hairs here that's not really a hairs here actually this is the dubbing i use for this particular pattern is squirrel and this comes from uh, scruffy dubbing it's a uh, it's a fantastic material for emerges i really really love it um it's softer than hair what i really like about it is when it gets wet it takes on a lovely olivey color it's very easy to work with very easy to dub it turks on a nice light olive and it's something I've used to great effect over the years so I'm just gonna dub some of this on from a little dubbing rope like so that's lovely and then we're gonna start from there and just work our way up we're not able to go all the way up because again we're gonna finish this rib off just before the eye that's great, it's making a nice little give yourself plenty of room up this end here just to finish with. So bring that rib up. One, two, three. And trim that in. Take the waist off. A little bit more of your dubbing, not too heavy on it, but just enough to make a bit of a head there. Just finish that off there, just tidies that all up. And thread up to the front of the hook, finish up in front of your eye there, and whip finish. So, just a three or four turns, hold it there, drop a varnish, done, how quick was that, I'll tell you what, it's a little killer of a pattern, it really is a little killer of a pattern, then I'll like to just give that a little as always with these emerges, a nice little scruff up there. That's beautiful. When that gets wet, this turns lovely olive colour. 
it just matches those uh, mid to late season hatches that tend to be olive in colour. It's a great little fly, scruffy little fly, but very, very quick to tie. Very, very effective. Many, many fish on it. I hope you like that. You know, a nice quick one for you. It'll take a lot of time for you to do those. And uh, yeah, if you liked it, click like and subscribe. And um, I'll see if I can get a few more of these fired out for you. Thanks very much.